Okay, so let's look at weekly exercise 10 and see what you're going to be doing. Okay, so the, the first thing that I've done is assigned you these two articles to read. They're from Scientific American. They read really easily um, and they explain some of the same things that I've been talking about in lecture and that Stanovich talks about in our book, but also they expand out a little bit and make it make a little bit more sense. Okay, so when you get done reading those two articles, you're going to apply your knowledge from these two articles um, and chapter 10 of the text by completing this little task. Uh, if you've read the textbook, these problems will look very familiar. This first one that I gave you is slightly different, but the second one looks exactly like the one that's in the book. So although a 70% rate of accuracy for the polygraph may sound pretty good, the text shows that it's not. For example, if 5% of 1,000 employees are guilty of misconduct, and all are given the test, 285 innocent employees will be wrongly accused. Okay, so you're going to avoid the base rate fallacy and you're going to solve this problem. Now this is not a stats class and so the math is not the problem and I got to tell you there is really no math involved in solving this problem. I modeled for you the beginning of what you need to do to start reasoning out this problem and then like I said this exact problem is in the textbook. Um, it just has different actors in it. So assume that one in every employees of a government and its defense contractors is a spy. If a test to detect spies has a 95% accuracy rate, what is the chance that a person who tests positively, that is, is identified as a spy, is actually a spy? So this gets at the probability of being a spy relative to the probability of being accused of a spy. Okay, now you, in your report to me, I want to hear your reasoning and I want you to tie your discussion to, the, to evidence from the text and the articles about probabilistic, probabilistic reasoning. Now I know you guys are writing a, a paper this week and so um, I'm not expecting a big long explanation. I want you to explain how you figured out the problem even if you got it wrong, the math is not the issue. The issue is t really tying your explanation to the, to the text and the articles. So hit those things. It doesn't have to be a long essay, um, but make sure it's clear to me that you understand the probabilities involved in this, in this problem. It's just an illustration of the logic that goes behind understanding um, probabilities in the real world. Okay, so enjoy your Weekly exercise 10.